Alrighty, Gary, this is how everything works. Here's the kicker. Here's how I did my steering arm. See this? That pin right there? That used to be for this. You flip this lever back. Hold on a second here. I can't do it with one hand. Okay, you flick this lever back right here, okay? And you put this down at different levels, this tiller, okay? And see how it comes down now? It's coming down so low. Look how low this is, right? Well, what used to be in there was an adjustment screw. And what I ended up doing is putting this uh, bolt through there and here's the rod that goes over and it's just a pin with a cotter pin this this pin then the cotter pin okay and this is adjustable in and out if you can kind of see that pin system there so this is connected to all this these bolts right here, okay, are going to go bye-bye. And this entire contraption is going to come off. And that's because it's got the shifter and the throttle linkage all inside here. And what am I going to be left with? I'm going to be left with having to bring that out over here in basically this rigging tube somehow okay that's where the shifter cables are probably going to go in let me go around on this side so there's the rod i got this pin i usually just have it hanging here and then this ball and pin right here very self-explanatory I mean it's a ball and pin and it goes into this yoke and I connect it so I just have it hanging here right now okay so that goes in there the kit is supposed to come with here's the steering tube that goes all the way through and I don't know how going into this tube is going to turn the engine i do not know how that's going to happen i have no earthly idea this is the steering tube i mean correct me if i'm wrong but that's the tube you take these ends off and an arm goes in there right i do not know i do not know but you can see how I turn it because of this right so I don't know if it's gonna come off of here with a bracket I I guess I don't know maybe this is just the tilt tube you know but on my big engine that's where the steering connects so I don't get it but once you take these bolts out, right here is a break. And I know it's very difficult to see because of this. Everything's black. But I take this whole system off with these bolts under here. And I believe something is going to connect to there where I can put a connecting rod on. And it's going to turn the engine. All right. So that's that. As you can see right now, here is all in this right here. It's coming out of the tiller. It's going into here for the shifter cable and all. So all this, I guess, has to go bye-bye. And this entire tiller will come off. Okay. So then... Everything's going to be sticking out on this side, I guess. 
and the the shifter cables and the throttle cable and the uh, on and off and the trim and tilt is all going to be what this is right here. And like a regular engine, this is sort of like your rigging tube here. So all this is going to come out and it's going to loop around like this. And I'm going to put another hole, I guess, in here. Here, I got it going through this, uh, met, like my anchor. This is actually my anchor uh, sheathing for my anchor chain. And I got over here, you can see, I'm using the Blue Seas little, what they call cable clams. There's the power and here's the fuel. And they're going through these cable clams. All right. So then the cables are going to be, this is going to be three, three feet at least because they're going to come around like this they're going to loop loop around or whatever and they're going to have to go in over here right there okay now let's go inside this is what i call my false transom i know you have no idea how this boat is built i know that because nobody who deals in fiberglass boats understands how this is made but this is my transom that's my transom. Half inch thick aluminum, you know, the whole nine yards. Pickup tube for my old wash down, anode holders, anode plate holders, trim tabs down underneath. And you can see how my kicker is mounted on this Panther Marine Tech bracket. And it even has a support brace under here that's going to my standoff. This is a standoff. This is how you do everything on aluminum boats. And then my trim tabs are on here. Okay, so you're seeing this maybe for the first time, right? So if this is the transom, and this is part of the boat. I mean, this is the boat. This is no bolt-on bullshit here. This is the boat right there, underneath there. See, this half-inch plate comes down here where my finger is. It comes down and that is actually the boat and it's bolted and it's like a bolt-on bracket this is just a swim platform type situation here okay so let's go inside let's go inside see there's my water pickup tube we pick up the water from under the boat and we bring it into from my old wash down and you can see from up here there is the steering arm Right back here and I connect that end into that yoke is all I do but this whole this whole tiller has to go away okay and that's what the kit is for okay if you can see it from up here you know I'm gonna be turning the engine and everything maybe that bar I'm not sure really I don't know what's going to bolt on this is all coming off and it's coming off all the way back here where there's big bolts and this whole tiller's coming off that's your throttle that's your shifter and this is your throttle tensioner you even got your emergency stop switch right here all this is coming off okay so there's my false transom or that's my transom that box channel and all that half inch plate and everything comes into here this is what I call the false transom all this okay that's just what the name I gave it so then hold on I gotta put the camera down so now I open this hatch and this is where all my stuff is okay as you can see there's my primer bulb there's my chase okay it's a big giant square box so there's my kicker battery I got a little AGM there's my uh, Marpak quick view fuel filter 
This side is for the kicker fuel. This side is for the 250 Suzuki fuel. All right, so I'm going to come in over here with the cables and the wiring harness, and it's going to swing up inside here, up inside here, and go down. So back here is at least two or three feet, then two or three feet here. So we got six, seven feet already of harness throttle shifter cables, those extremes, those red ones or whatever you're talking about, right? So it's going to come in, in here, and I hope it's not too dark. All right. So this is where everything's at. This is my chase for fuel. This goes down, comes down in here, and my fuel tank is down here underneath this rubber mat, underneath the deck, of course, but I just got this mat here. So that's what I call the false transom. Okay, so you can look around here. That's the false transom. There's my fuel filler underneath here. Okay, so leaving my fuel filters protected here by my, my big old cutting board. So, I mean, probably two, three feet minimum out there. Maybe to come in here and loop around two, three feet going down. Okay, and the chase, if you follow my finger, goes right through here because the chase is the boxed stringer. My stringers are giant aluminum boxes welded down under the deck. And then, then the deck is welded to it. All right. So you got to think totally different than the, the fiberglass boat syndrome here. So from here, that drops down at least a foot, goes down right here, because this is where one of the stringers is, right under the edge of this mat. And it goes all the way up here. And then I'm gonna have to get a light out. Let me get a light. Because you're gonna need to see some detail here. Oh, I forgot I got the lights up in here. Okay, so let me even show you this. Let's go back to here. So now you can see, there's my kicker battery. There comes the uh, charging cables. I mean, there's the battery cables for the kicker. There's the, uh, the fuel. And then all the other stuff for the Suzuki is over on this side. Okay, so that's all that. Fuel tube, elect electrical rigging tube. As you can see, there's all kinds of battery cables and little isolator blocks all up in there. Okay, so then, like I said, the stringer comes all the way up here, goes underneath on this side, right where my foot's at. Okay, and let me go around the other side because I'm so right-handed. I'm holding the camera with the left. Now, oh, right there is my VHF radio that's where i'm going to put the other binnacle control so as you can see there it is that's where it's going to be next to the suzuki control and hold on let me get down here on my ass Ugh, okay so now there's the radio it's got a big hole and down here i have this shelf all right, down here I have this shelf. This is where all my tackle stuff is. All right, hold on. Okay, there's my AC at Blue, Blue Seas ACR, my battery separator switch. There's my actually battery switch. All I have is uh, combined engines off and on. And then you can see this mess under here. And that gray box is my VHF so I can get rid of the speaker okay and I got this shelf here the shelf comes out but then it needs to go back in because this is an integral part 
of my tackle storage. Then down here, you can see I've got my battery charger. I got a double battery charger, big commercial types. Uh, I mean, that is a dual pro. It is a whoop ass damn battery charger bolted to the side of the console. <coughs> then I got my two AGM batteries. There's the chase popping up from the stringer right there. See all this stuff? Okay, so I'm going to come up there and it's sheathed. Pacific put this canvas sheathing on it. You can see the sheathing down there. And then all of a sudden, you can see the sheathing right there. See that black thing? That's canvas sheathing around all the really important wires and stuff. So then, up in here, let's see if I can see it. Right here is the back of the speaker. And it's a round hole right here that I can put in the or the mercury shifter I believe I could put it right here and I'm hoping that it's not too long you know too long so it doesn't come down right in here too far so I can't get to my battery switch because this battery switch needs to be here but I'm thinking, here's the outside, it going down right here on an angle. And I come up where those two red and white red cables are, going those battery cables. I come up in that corner. See that shelf has a big gap in the back right there. The shelf right here, the shelf doesn't butt up against the back. There's a big space so all your stuff can fit back there. Okay. Oh my God, this is very hard for me to do this. All right. So I got space and I can bring the harness and the shifter cables up through that corner and into the binnacle right in here. That would be sticking down because I'll be taking this off and there's like a three inch hole and if I need to make it bigger or squarer or whatever I'll put it in there and it'll have the key switch throttle shifter for the mercury all right so there you go that's it in a nutshell that's my chase see where all those wires are it's just a box sitting on top of the hollow stringer if you can imagine that and this is down here this is the deck that's deck batteries coming up through the stringer and it's just a box coming up out of the stringer into the bottom of the console all right and here's the rest of you know up in here there's my big mess i'd love to have all this totally rewired someday and I know a guy named James, what's his name? Oh, Rick or Jim Barry. He worked on a submarine in the Navy. The guy knows how to take every one of these wires apart. And like you see on those yellow fins, I don't think you guys work on yellow fins very often or anything. You probably don't. I don't even know if you work on contenders and all. But a lot of them big high dollar boats will have a big starboard panel. And every single wire comes up and turns and goes to a termination, goes to a block. Everything is labeled, all that on a big panel under the console. And that's what Jim Barry could do to this. The guy is a master because he was an electrician on submarines. So that's it. Let me get up. Ugh. Oh man, it is hotter than a goddamn whore on dollar day under this carport. Whoo, it is hot. My beer is sweating like no tomorrow. So there's my console, right? And I'm thinking very simply, 
shifter for the mercury right here. I was thinking, because I have this hole on the side of my console here. This is the side of the console. I keep my net here. I've got this old hole from an old battery charger cable that I used to run out on the side here. Then I switched. And then over here, of course, let me get the light. Then over here, here's my box that I had built off the front of the console, and this is my storage. And that's all my lures in the black box right there. Fire extinguisher, all my stuff, six PFDs, rain jacket, fire extinguisher. So this is my little dry storage box. All right, so that's what's built off the front here, as you can see. I know people watch the videos that I do and they, they never see the intricacies of this boat until they're actually like on it. Okay. Because this is so far removed many times from what everybody's used to. Just the way it's built. Not one wasted space on this entire boat. Everything is being able to be utilized. Look at this. You got your gunnels and then you got these storage trays and you got these storage trays putting in rod holders as a piece of cake okay so uh, right here Suzuki shifter mercury shifter right down here that's how I'm looking so I need to measure from literally here down into the console down in the floor in the deck down here up to this chase out of this chase through the back side of the false transom and then loop those shifter cables and throttle cables up and around and into right there plus the harness for the key switch and trim and tilt so as you can see, I have no earthly clue of how I'm going to actually end up turning this. Okay, I don't know what steering rod. I don't know if my steering rod is just going to bolt on there once this tiller is gone. Okay, I mean, there's no pictures. There's no nothing. So that's what we're looking at. And I will do my best to get an accurate measurement from the inside the engine all the way into this false transom all the way along the deck down in the down in the stringer all the way up here and then pop out and come up and connect to something pretend that speaker is the shifter pretend that speaker that Ray Marine piece of shit speaker let's uh let's just pretend and I guess the key switch would be on the bottom of it, you know, and you'd shift here for, uh, for Mercury and you're shifting over here, fly by wire, no cables to worry about on that for Suzuki. All right. Well, I hope I covered everything, brother. Hope I covered everything. So there you go. I'll go inside and I'll... Try to load this up to the YouTube uh, unlisted unlisted uh, video and send you the link. Hopefully that's all going to work. I've never done it before. All right.